So hopefully some of you read my bulletin that I posted on the uh, U of Tubes. Um, fucking sucks. Uh, I leave my laptop plugged in all the time, and I leave it on all the time. I just put it in like sleep mode or whatever. I shut it and don't bother turn it off. I didn't know that that would actually fry out the cells in your battery. So I fried out the cells in my battery like a long time ago, but I figured, well, fuck it, you know, I mean, it's always plugged in, so it'll be all right. Well, the cord uh, got frayed on the inside or whatever, and finally just shit out on me. Shit it all. So, with that said, uh, I'm actually recording this on my iPod right now. There's going to be no editing whatsoever. It's going to be less than 10 minutes. Um... Not even gonna have a drawing at the end. Oh, sad. I know. Uh, let's see what else. So basically, this video is just gonna be of me telling you what the fuck even happened. Yeah. What the fuck, bullshit? Uh, that. That's it. I just told you. Stop asking questions. Uh, let's see what's been going on with me though. Um, still losing a little bit of weight, slowly now, slowly. Uh, the soda thing, still doing pretty good, uh, rarely drinking it whatsoever. Um, what else? Uh, fucking loving being on first shift. So much shit happens at my work on first shift, too. Like, uh, it's another poo story, but this time it's not me. Um... No, I'm lying. I was actually on my way to poo. You're welcome. Uh, but, like I said, I like to go in the handicap cell. It's, there's a lot of room there. Um, I walk in the bathroom, and the handicap stall door is open, so automatically, <clears throat> yeah. And I walk in there, and there's an old guy wiping his ass. I'm like, oh, shit, sorry. Uh, uh, oh, panic. So I, like, hauled ass out of there and went to the next one. Um, so here, here's, like, a little tip. If you got grandparents, remind them every time they go to the bathroom, hey, shut the door. Lock that bitch even. Let's see what else. What else happened on first shift? Oh, today actually. Um, there was a meth lab bust in our parking lot. That was crazy. Uh, they barricaded um, the general merchandise side doors. Uh, we've got like a grocery side and a GM side. Um, they barricaded the GM side doors. They weren't letting anybody in or out that side. They were uh, telling all the customers whenever they checked out to go out the uh, groceries and whatnot. But from what I heard was, now, now this is purely speculation right now, you know. Uh, I actually haven't, it's already been on the news, but I haven't watched it because, well, I was there when it was happening. Um, it's kind of like being a director of a movie. Uh, or fuck, it's, it's actually kind of like being Jesus Christ and wondering, man, what happens at the end of the Bible? Um... But, uh, yeah, fucking, I guess it started in the parking lot next door my work, and somehow the people got in our store, and management started chasing them, and uh, cops were called, and, uh, like, I gotta wear walkie-talkie now because of my new position, which is really cool. I, I thought I was gonna hate it, but I get to hear all kinds of, like, fucking juicy shit on that thing, like, people talking shit on each other, fucking managers talking shit, and it cracks me up. But, uh, all of a sudden I start hearing, like... Uh, our asset protection, that's like our security, like, secret shoppers, watch people, you know, try to steal and whatnot. Um, I heard them talking about, uh, they need a member of management up front, out in the parking lot, yeah, yeah, and I thought it was kind of weird because, like, once they hit, like, a certain spot past the doors, sorry, don't worry about it. Once it hit, like, a, per a certain spot past our doors, they're not allowed to touch customers, do shit. So I was like, well, what the fuck they want in the parking lot, you know? I mean, it's, it's done. Let them go. You can't do anything. But, uh, apparently it turned out that it was a meth head with a lab in his car. They were, like, the police were barricading, like, I keep repeating, sorry. And, uh, then all of a sudden they got on the intercom in the actual store and was, like, advising... Uh, customers who parked in row 7 and row 8 to come to customer service. They were having them, like move their cars I guess so they can pinpoint which car was like the meth car and some of the associates at my work were like I'm not moving my fucking car so most likely their car got searched today too um luckily I parked like way off to the side where nobody can blow it up with lithium and other chemicals 
So yeah. Uh, pretty much just of that. So let's go into this week's movie review. Um, what have I watched recently? I had one planned out and everything like that already recorded, but that one's gonna wait until my debut back with editing and full theme. So, uh, so what's a good movie I've seen before? Um, oh, Airheads, uh, which is really cool because my girlfriend just bought me Airheads on DVD. Um, no, I'd seen it before. I actually went and saw Airheads in the theater. Uh, Airheads has um, Brandon Fraser, you know the guy from Encino Man and Georgia Jungle and shit. Um, Adam Sandler, I don't even have to explain who he is. Everybody knows who Adam Sandler is. And Steve Buscemi. Uh, Steve Buscemi is that guy uh, with really fucked up grill in uh, Ghost World. He was also in um, Edna's Dead Mother. Uh, you seen Con Air? He was a creepy guy that was apparently a pedophile. Uh, He's in Reservoir Dogs. I'm kind of drawing blank, you know. I can't really think of too many other movies he was in. But uh, it's about those three who are their rock group, uh, their band trying to get signed, and nobody wants to sign them because like nobody really wants to give them the time of the day. You know, three random dudes, you know, driving around in a van that's got like a pool cleaning service thing on the side. Nobody wants to pay any attention to them. So. They get this idea to take these toy guns and break into a radio station and make them play their shit on the radio so people can hear it. Well, everything goes all fucked up. Uh, cops get called. Uh, tapes get eaten. Uh, some chick goes down on somebody on a leather couch. Um, crazy shit. You're welcome. Uh, but all in all, they end up getting signed. Uh, they rock out in jail. And eventually get released and go on tour, I guess. It was a really good movie. I love Deer Heads. It's, it's a classic. If you haven't seen it, you live under a really big rock. And you should crawl out from under it. And maybe watch the movie. And that's about it. Yep. Okay. I'm done with the movie review. Sorry. This video sucks. I know. CD review. Fuck it. We'll do a CD review. Um, there's no music playing in the background because right now, I'm, like I said, I'm on my iPod. So I can't play the music off of it. Or you'd be hearing this week's CD review, which is Super Villains. Uh, Super Villains. Whoa. Hi. Hi. Super Villains is a. Uh, it's Violent J. Uh, Shags 2 Dope. Isham. And I want to say Lavelle. If I'm wrong and you're a juggalo, I apologize. I'm pretty sure it's Lavelle. Anyway, uh, the personas. They got super villain personas. And they decided to do like a whole fucking CD about it. Um, really, that's all I got about the CD review. It's, it's an awesome CD. Right now, I can't really think of any of the tracks on it. Uh, so, you know, fuck your face. Um, it's not a track, I'm, I'm suggesting something for you to do, uh, which if, really if any of you, ah, if any of you actually can fuck your own face out there, um, you should join the circus, cause it's a pretty cool natural trait that they'd probably like, and I'm looking at the timer, I'm pretty much almost out of room on my iPod, so, we're done, peace out, biatches.